in my experience, what I've found is that if I share my own mushy side, it gives permission to the other person to drop their guard a little bit and show theirs. You're listening to Prospecting on Purpose, where we discuss all things prospecting, sales, business, and mindset. I'm your host, Sarah Murray, a sales champion who's here to show you that you can be a shark in business and still lead with intentionality and authenticity. Tune in each week as we dive into methods to connect with clients, communicate with confidence, and close the deal. Welcome to Prospecting on Purpose. Today is Monday, May 29th, and it is Memorial Day in the United States. For anyone unfamiliar with the holiday, Memorial Day is a day to remember and honor all members of the military who died during service to the United States of America. It also serves as the unofficial start to summer. So in the spirit of Memorial Day, I'm going to honor a veteran who thankfully did not die during his service, but lived to be 89 years old. He passed away on November 10th, 2019. And if we have not yet guessed it, it's my grandpa. I loved my grandma and grandpa, and I was very close to them. They were my biggest cheerleaders, and all of my friends and coworkers and clients over the years have had to hear stories about them. And apparently that isn't changing anytime soon with this podcast episode. (laughs) So I'm going to share two quick stories and a business takeaway. My grandfather's name was Donald McDonald. Uh, We're a very Scottish family, if that wasn't immediately obvious. Donald McDonald. And he was born in Los Angeles, California. He went to school, joined the Marines, and he was deployed for the Korean War in 1952 and was there until 1953, so two years overseas. Now, while he was serving in the Marines, his father, so my great-grandfather, had to go to the hospital for a short stay. And while he was in the hospital, he told the nurse caring for him that she should write to his son, who was stationed in Korea. And knowing my grandma, she does what she says she is going to do. So if she told her patient that she was going to write a card to his son serving in the war, she was going to do it. So she did, and he wrote back, and they became pen pals until he returned home to California. And then when he got back, he took my grandmother, Esther Pop, on a date, and they continued to date. And soon fell in love and got married. And I'm happy that they did because obviously I wouldn't be here if they didn't. So I share because I think it's a cute story. Great grandpa over here playing long distance matchmaker from his hospital bed. So that's how grandma and grandpa met. And then I do have one story that is very special to me and special to a client that I want to share. In September 2017, my largest client was having a big Oktoberfest party in their office. They had a massive team and a huge office, so they were going to have different beer stations throughout the space and decorate different areas like the different Oktoberfest tents you see in Germany. And they invited me to be a sponsor, and as a sponsor, I would buy some of the beer for the team, but of course, I could attend the party and spend time networking with my clients, meet new clients, etc. It was a great opportunity, and it's something I would have loved to participate in. But the same evening as that party, My grandpa was going to be on stage on a panel called Voices, Veterans Storytelling Project. The project was really cool. So six weeks leading up to the event, four different veterans who served in different branches of the military and different wars answered questions about their time in service. And then the curator of the project wove in all of the answers and the stories together, and they each took turns on stage telling their story to the audience. It was a really creative idea, and I learned a lot. It was cool to see my grandpa on stage and have him be able to share his story with the community. It ended up being a really lovely evening. But since I wasn't able to attend the work event, I put some stuff together ahead of time. And since it's Oktoberfest theme, obviously, I went to a couple of different dollar stores. I bought 60 or so giant beer steins for a dollar, and then I filled them with candy and different swag items from my company. So sunglasses, pens, you know, little things that could fit into a beer stein. And I dropped them off earlier in the day, and I was greeted by someone who I didn't know at the company. We hadn't worked together before, and we're unloading these heavy boxes of beer steins in the office. We're kind of setting them up. And as we were finished, I was getting ready to go, and she asked me if I was going to be attending the Oktoberfest party. And I said, actually, no, this is a little bit random, but my grandpa is a veteran of the Korean War, and he is part of a storytelling project in Orange County. It's this big event is tonight, so I'm going to be down there cheering him on. And this client happened to be Korean, 
And as I'm telling her that, she she puts her hand on her heart and she says, My father was a young boy in Korea during the war, and he remembers the American soldiers being so helpful to his community. So whenever he meets a Korean war veteran, he thanks them on behalf of him and his family. So on behalf of me and my family, please thank your grandfather for his service. And at this point, my hands are on my heart. We're both tearing up. Um, It was just such a really beautiful connection point because she and I were connected through acts of our parents and grandparents. But it was obvious that we had a connection through that moment. It was a really special moment for both of us. And it's interesting because we had never actually worked together on a work-related project. But now she's had a couple of different roles. She works now for a very well-known company in a very prestigious role. And I know if I ever needed to call her for something, she would answer that phone. She'd be happy to help in the same way that I would do the same for her. You know, I share that story because it obviously fits the theme of the day. But I feel that it demonstrates a larger theme that I want to continue to focus on is that these human connection points, these personal connection points really can result in better business. And I know people don't like to talk about their personal life at work. I totally get it. And I'm not saying that we need to or we should be talking about it if we're uncomfortable with it. Obviously, we're not dumping our baggage on our clients. Please don't do that. You know, timing needs to be appropriate when we share. And I trust us all to use the appropriate judgment. But what I really want the takeaway to be from this is that if we open the door just a little bit to share a story about our family, or maybe we let a client see us light up when we talk about something we're really passionate about that's not work related, or maybe even an area where we're struggling in our personal lives, or if we show really open, genuine gratitude to someone who's helped us. You know, I'm going to call this our mushy side, you know, mushy in quotes, this mushy side of ourselves. In my experience, what I've found is that if I share my own mushy side, it gives permission to the other person to drop their guard a little bit and show theirs. And the type of relationships that result out of that are much richer. But then also the business progress that's made is usually done with more joy, more thoughtfulness, and true collaboration because we feel we have an actual connection with the person we're collaborating with. So I'd like to wrap this podcast episode up by giving everyone permission to share part of our mushier sides if we feel so inclined to. For me, it usually has only resulted in better relationships and better business, and it lets me talk about my grandma and grandpa, so it's a win-win for me. (laughs) Two more notes. If you still have living grandparents, I encourage you to give them a call, and for those who are remembering loved ones during this Memorial Day, we thank them for their service. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for listening to the Prospecting on Purpose podcast. If you loved what you heard today, subscribe to the podcast and please rate and leave a review. For more info on me or if you'd like to work together, feel free to go to my website, sarahmurray.com. On social media, I'm usually hanging out at Sarah Murray Sales. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time.